Hello friends, it's Julia Simpson, Kia Baby's brand spokesperson, and I am so happy to be back with you for another Amazon Live. I hope you guys are all enjoying your summer break, your summer vacation. Um, I happen to love this time of year. Um, the We spend a lot of time outside as a family, and um, so I love when the weather is warm, although where I live, um, it's bordering on pretty disgustingly hot, um, but whatever, I'll take it. We love spending time at the pool, at the beach, um, getting out for hikes and having cookouts with friends and things like that. Um, so I know that you guys are probably going on your vacations, you're traveling to see family, um, you are enjoying quality time with kiddos that might be out of school. And so um, I'm really excited all this month to feature products from Kia Babies that are, are going to help make your um, traveling this season a little less stressful. Um, we want you to travel hassle-free if we can help it. So um, something that I... Um, I've realized since having a baby is one, um, traveling and packing up a car um, is significantly less stressful than it used to be. It's a lot more fun than it used to be, but it's also more stressful for sure. Um, and also uh, since having a baby and I have an 11 month old who is just starting to kind of like toddle around and have control over where she goes and what she does and what she plays with, my house is always a disaster. Um, my husband and I are both fairly organized people. Um, I can't stand clutter. I, chaos stresses me out. So I'm really excited today to talk about a Kia Babies product that is going to help make both traveling with the baby um, and organizing baby's things so much easier. Um, and so what we're going to be talking about today is the original 2.0 diaper caddy. Um, now, yes, it is called the diaper caddy and you can absolutely use it as a diaper caddy. Um, keep all of your diaper changing supplies in here, just in your nursery to add a little extra level of organization, but it does not stop at functioning as a diaper caddy. Let me tell you, it is extremely versatile. And uh, so I wanted to get a little bit creative and just show you some of my favorite ways that I have been using it um, and ways that you guys could try yourself um, at home and just give you some ideas. So first of all, my pro tip with the uh, diaper caddy is that you need more than one. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna be honest and put that out there. That's how useful these things are. Um, so again, I'm gonna show you several uses for it. Um, and I, I usually like to start with a little unboxing. So let's get to that just so I can show you what to expect when you um, shop the diaper caddy and you receive it in the mail. Um, so this is not exactly an unboxing. We're gonna do an unpackaging um, since this is in a package here. So we'll just open this up and Kia Babies always, always includes little happy surprises, just little um, thank yous for shopping the brand, uh, little mementos that help just welcome you into the Kia Babies family. I, I absolutely love that about their packaging. It's another reason I really enjoy doing unboxings for you guys. Um, so I hope you're not totally bored of them if you've been around for a while. Um, but so when you open the package, uh, there's always some nice little touch. So I wanted to share this bookmark really quickly with you. Um, it just says, I am a proud parent. I sing lullabies every night. I wipe away tears. I clean poop and change diapers. I get peed and vomited on. I conquer sleepless nights. I am a hashtag Kia parent. Um, I think this is so sweet. And literally every book on my nightstand right now is bookmarked with one of these guys. So just a nice little touch. Um, love that branding. So I thought I would share it with you all. So let me pull this out of the package and sorry, I'm using my lap kind of for leverage to get it out of the bag. I will show you what it looks like. Um, so it's going to come in this nice sleeve here. It tells you that you have the diaper caddy. And of course we've got our 
cute little Kia Babies logo right there. That's our little Kia parrot. I love that guy. Um, I just get happy whenever I open up a package and I see his little face staring back at me because I know whatever is in the package is going to be awesome and it's going to be something that I can't live without. So um, flip it on the back here and it says a place for everything. Keep your baby essentials organized and tidy with Kia Baby's original diaper caddy. Lightweight and versatile, the original diaper caddy matches any nursery and is portable for you to carry around the house. Um, it is water resistant, which is awesome. Um, it has multiple compartments, which of course I'm gonna show you. Um, and it is compact and portable. Agree with all of those things. This is just so super easy to use. It's easy to assemble. Um, and we'll go over that in just a second. Um, so I always like to point out our socials here. Please, please, please come join us over on Facebook, um, YouTube, Instagram, or Pinterest, especially on Instagram. We just have such a cool little Kia Babies community going over there. Um, we love seeing your photos with our products. We love hearing from you, um, what you're using for babe, what you're loving. Um, and we just like connecting with you. So please head on over there. We also do lots of fun stuff like giveaways. Um, it's just a great space. So um, speaking of giveaways, we do have an Amazon Live promotion. And I'll repeat this a couple of times throughout this video. So if you stick around until the end, um, I apologize that you're gonna hear this multiple times, but it's the nature of Instagram Live that we have people popping on all the time at different points in the video. And I just, I don't want anybody to miss out on this deal. So as a thank you for tuning in with us, um, you should see a banner at the bottom of this video, just below this video, um, click the claim button and a discount will be automatically applied to your purchase at checkout. So you will just need to hit add to cart to shop the diaper caddy, complete your transaction, um, and that discount will be automatically applied. Now, because this is an Amazon Live specific promotion, um, the deal expires one hour after the end of this live video. So if you are not already following us here on uh, Amazon Live, excuse me, uh, go ahead and give us a follow. That way you never miss one of these hangout sessions. Um, you get to meet all of our products, uh, get to know them, spend a little time with them, and you don't miss out on these deals. Um, I don't want you to miss out on these deals. I want you to take advantage of them. So very excited to share that with you. Um, so let's go ahead and pull this out of the sleeve and take a look. So this comes in the um, classic gray, what you see here. Again, this is going to match any interior of your nursery. Um, we have these in our playroom. We've got some in our living room, in our den. Um, it's gonna match any car interior. It's just a nice classic look. Um, and it's got a very cute little Kia Babies logo patch. I always love that little touch. It's just instantly recognizable. You know, it's a Kia Babies product. And um, it's just nice looking. I feel like that's a high-end looking little touch there. So let's pop this open. And it's a little bit stiff when you first open it, um, but that just lets you know like how durable this is. Um, it can hold up to 10 pounds worth of stuff. And let me tell you, you've got to collect a lot, a lot of baby stuff to add up to 10 pounds. So um, this is just super useful um, and it's, you know, not as flimsy um, as some other types of organizing caddies that I've used in the past. Again, it can hold up to 10 pounds. So, so, so much stuff can fit in here. Now it comes just open in the uh, inside like this. And so attached to the back is where you will find some inserts that you don't have to use if you don't want to. I, um, you know, it adds an extra level of organization. So I suggest that you do pop those in. Just gonna move this to the side real quick. We're gonna get to all that fun stuff uh, just so I can attach these and kind of go over that a little bit. So you will have to play with it and just kind of get these all straightened out but there's Velcro inside your caddy and there's Velcro on these little inserts. So you're just gonna match Velcro side to Velcro side. To make 
four compartments and I'll show you a close up of what it looks like in just a second. Super, super easy. I promise you this is not rocket science. If Julia can do it, literally anybody can do it. So now you have four distinct pockets inside. And again, I just think that's a nice extra little level of organization. So um, it's also surrounded by these pockets on the outside. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So pockets surrounding the whole perimeter of the caddy. Um, I'm telling you, you can just fit so much stuff. And I like that um, these pockets on the sides like vary kind of in size um, and in width. Uh, so you can just store like a variety of items in here. And again, it just makes it so, so useful. Um, <clears throat> got a little bit of allergies going on happens to me every summer is the only time I get allergies, not the springtime. It's always in the summertime and I don't know why. Um, so I apologize for my, my little bit of coughing here. Um, okay. So lightweight, super easy to carry, durable. You can spot clean this. Um, these tend not to get very dirty. I mean, you know, they're not going uh, crazy places or anything like that. Although we did take ours to the beach. Um, and it was just fantastic and super useful. And I'm gonna share how we used it at the beach in just a second. Um, but again, these, these stay pretty clean. So spot cleaning is perfectly, perfectly acceptable. Um, we actually like to use our uh, wipes just if anything ever gets on here. Or Sophia kind of sometimes will chew on them and drool on them and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, easy to spot clean. And what else? These handles, super durable. Um, this is nice and soft and flexible um, once you've got it kind of all configured. So it will fold up nicely. Um, I know a lot of people like to travel with these in the car um, and just kind of keep them packed 100% of the time and then just shut it up under a seat or something like that. That's a great use for it so that you always kind of have an emergency supply of diaper changing things that you need when you are out on the go. Um, I actually have another Kia Babies product that I prefer for that. Um, and it's something that we're gonna go over at the end of this slide, um, just briefly. Uh, but that is of course a use for this and because, you know, it kind of folds up and molds nicely, you can, you know, stick it up under a car seat or put it in the floorboard of a back seat, uh, keep it in a trunk and it works great for always having diaper changing supplies on hand. So uh, I said we were going to get a little bit creative in how to use these, um, and we are. So pull this back into frame for you. Uh, let's talk about how this can help make travel a little bit easier. So as I just said, this is you know great for using in the car. So if you are going on a road trip uh, and you want to use this as sort of your diaper changing station, um, super, super convenient way to have that stuff at your fingertips. Um, but what we actually did was we just got back from our first ever beach trip with our daughter, Sophia. Um, and it was a fantastic trip. Um, really enjoyed ourselves. We used this as kind of our beach day Sophia caddy. So we didn't want to be carrying one of her nice diaper bags um, out to the beach, have it on the sand. This was like super, super resistant to sand, by the way, um, and it's also waterproof. So that made it a great option for using as a beach caddy. So, you know, we just, we wanted to pack light. We had a lot of stuff in our hands and on our backs already. We're carrying Sophia. Um, we've got lounge chairs. We've got a pop-up tent, uh, you know, all that good stuff. So this was super convenient to just like throw on my arm here. Um, and I didn't have to worry about it getting dirty or it getting ruined um, in the sand. So uh, what, what did we actually pack in here? I have packed up a sample beach day caddy for you and we're gonna unpack it together really quickly. Um, and yeah, so we kind of set up a little nesting station on the beach inside our nice pop-up sun tent. Uh, and I just tried to anticipate the things that I thought, you know, Sophia was gonna need. And so first of all, in a, one of these inside pockets here, I packed our SPF. Um, this is for us and this one is for Sophia because sun protection is so, so important. Um, I also packed a little sun hat for her in that same pocket just to have easy access to that. Um, but it is currently in the wash because she wears it a lot right now since it's summertime and we're outside a lot. Um, this pocket we used for snacks for her. 
So we had some rice cereal stuff, some yogurt milk, and then of course, it's very important when you're gonna be out in the sun and the heat to hydrate. So we always pack a little sippy cup of water for Sophia when we're gonna be out. So water and snacks here in this pocket. Um, up here, we packed this with swim diapers. Um, so, you know, obviously she was going to be getting in and out of the ocean and we needed something super absorbent on her bottom. Uh, so we packed our swim diapers in here. Uh, of course I included diaper cream at the time and wipies, but those are upstairs cause I've been using them. Um, it's just been one of those days. <laughs> so I don't have all, all of my stuff packed up here at my fingertips like I usually do. Um, but yeah, so diaper cream and wipies in there as well. And then over here, um, we just packed her towel. So for, you know, easy access to keeping her nice and dry. Now in these smaller pockets, um, we put our, mine and my husband's sunglasses. Sophia has a little pair of sunglasses. Um, so we packed those in there as well. Um, what else? Oh, our cell phones and car keys. So we packed those in the side pockets over here because they're nice and deep and you know, the, we felt like our stuff was super secure in there. Um, so really this was like just a one-stop shop for all of the things that Sophia needed for a beach day. And of course, you know, she's still taking two naps a day. So the most time we were ever, ever spending out there at one time was about two hours. And this was really all that she needed. Um, in a separate bag, we, you know, packed some beach toys and things like that for her. Um, but this was great to just have on hand uh, as just a little storage unit right there in our pop-up tent. Um, so I highly suggest if you are out for a beach day, um, configure something like this. It's super, super useful and super easy. So that was our beach day caddy. And I'll just stick this over here. Now, how I love using this around the house. I do have one of these in Sophia's nursery. Um, packed up with diaper changing supplies just because diaper changes these days in my house. Sophia does not like to sit still for more than 30 seconds at a time. Um, she definitely doesn't like to lay flat on her back because uh, she just wants to be going and moving all the time. She's starting to kind of try and toddle and things like that. Um, so diaper changes have to be like NASCAR, you know, switching the tires out kind of fast. So having everything all conveniently placed right at my fingertips, nice and organized for diaper changes is, it's life changing. Um, but I feel like you kind of understand how that works. You would pack diapers, wipes, diaper cream, a little toy maybe to distract her, um, that kind of thing. So I actually wanted to show you how it's super useful to use in our playroom um, because that room is constantly a disaster. I mean, you know, Sophia is just a little sponge who is learning so much right now. Um, she's a super active baby. So uh, she's always like pulling a new toy out, figuring a new toy out. So I needed to add just a little bit of organization to that room. Um, and I'm very specific about the toys that I use the caddy for. So anything that has um, like multiple pieces to it in order for it to work, um, and especially if they're like smaller pieces that get misplaced or strewn about. Um, and if you lose them, like the toy's not as fun anymore or as useful. That stuff goes in here, packed into one of these caddies in a pocket so that it always stays together. Anything that is at risk of being chewed up by dogs, which is a big problem in our house, which you're actually going to see on some of our toys in here. I'm <laughs> just like putting it all out there for you. Um, that kind of stuff. Uh, ends up in the caddy so that it is kind of safe and protected from pups. Um, and then anything, you know, on the smaller side that Sophia tends to ask for um, fairly frequently or get upset when she can't find easily in like her big toy box um, goes into one of these pockets. And so that way everything, I know exactly where it is and it's just so easy to grab and it's all in one place. So let's take a look at some of these toys with like the smaller pieces and compartments that I'm talking about. So her stacking blocks, um, this absolutely lives in the caddy. And if you notice, you're like, well, that's a really weird rainbow. Um, you're right. And that's because we don't have a full set 
this is like an amalgamation of several sets that we have gone through because our dogs keep carrying these off thinking that they are chew toys. Um, so that's why this lives in the caddy now. So I can always stack this up at the end of the day or whenever she's done playing and it goes right back into its safe, organized little pocket. Um, this toy she loves, so something like this. It's a little fish bowl um, that's got a bunch of little fishies inside. These guys are always getting lost. Um, they roll around the floor. Uh, Sophia pushes them up under couches and things like that. That's like a new game that she's really enjoying right now. Um, but that means that like a lot of times these disappear and we never see them again. And um, that's the whole point of this toy, like an empty fish bowl just isn't as fun. So in order to keep all this together and keep up with all those pieces, um, it now lives in the caddy. So I just pack it all up when she's done playing and uh, it goes to bed for the night in the caddy. So um, stacking cups, another like great um, thing to, to put in here because you want these all to stay together. You know, if you start losing them, then there's nothing left to stack. So again, just anything that has multiple pieces to it that you need to keep all in one place. This is just so, so great for that. And uh, then blocks. These are like the bane of my existence right now. These little like colorful wood blocks. Um, they're for stacking. Um, these are getting lost all of the time. And for whatever reason, my dogs love, love chewing on those. They like chewing on wood for some reason. They're not furniture chewers, but you put one of these like little baby stacking blocks in front of them and it's a free for all. So we're actually missing a ton of these. And so I'm trying to preserve uh, <laughs> the little bit of stash that we have left by keeping them in a caddy pocket at all times. Um, and I'm gonna segue really quickly because this has also been like a great kind of learning and activity toy of the caddy itself for Sophia um, because I'm trying to teach her colors right now. She's only 11 months old. I know I'm super early on this, um, but she, as, as I said, she's just, she's such a little sponge and uh, she loves learning. So I'm trying to get her to learn to like categorize um, and group things that are similar together. So we actually, I will take all of the things out of this caddy so that it's empty and you know, we will do, okay, all purple toys go in this pocket together, right? So I'll have purple, blue, red, yellow, that kind of thing. And then I'll try and have her help me identify what should go in which pocket. And I'm telling you, it keeps her occupied forever. So that's a great, great little game that you can play with these. Um, so you can even use this as a toy um, and as a great learning tool. Um, again, so uh, another way that we use it, very similar vein, is she's got a bunch of like little plushy animals and things like that. And um, you know, there are only so many animals in the world. So she's got a ton of bears, a bunch of elephants, a bunch of lions. And I'm trying to get her to, you know, recognize these animals and know what their names are and that, you know, uh, lions are the same and elephants are the same. So, you know, that's another way that we'll play a categorizing game where lions go in this pocket, elephants over here, um, bears in here, yada, yada. So um, endless entertainment with this thing. So it's not just useful for organization. It is actually um, useful for entertainment. So wanted to throw that out there before I forgot since we're talking about toys and things. Um, so then again, her quick access things that I want to just be able to grab at the ready. She's teething right now. So anything that has to do with teething, this is actually a teething ring that she can chew on. Um, it goes in these outside pockets because she's in kind of a biting phase right now because she is teething and her gums are sore and she's just trying to relieve that pain. So it's really important for me to be able to, you know, let her know we don't bite skin and I need to be able to grab her teething rings really quickly and offer a safe alternative. Um, so anything to do with teething. These little like plushy, crinkly things, um, toys that she's had like since we brought her home from the hospital um, that she's kind of always loved, rattles and things like that, that she's still like emotionally attached to um, and wants to like know where they are and, and pulls them out every day. Uh, little loveys and things like that. Um, they go in the caddy pocket. And then I think I've talked about before, if you have joined us for other Amazon Live, she is obsessed with phones. So here's a little play cell phone that she has. Uh, it's just a really bad day in this house if that gets misplaced. So that has a special home in the caddy. And then these thin little like crinkle papers. Um, she still loves playing with those. She's been playing with those since she was about four or five months old and when she first started purposefully using her hands. 
Um, again, so a little lovey that she likes to carry around. Um, so yeah, that is one of my favorite ways to use this caddy. Um, and even as baby grows, there are still so many uh, great uses for this. So it's, you know, something that you're going to keep around for a lifetime and continue to use um, as your baby turns into a, a child and even beyond. Um, so some other great ideas if you want to use them for organizing kids things is art supplies. Um, these are really great for um, organizing like clothing items. Um, in a nursery. So, you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but little things that she has that she doesn't wear all of the time because they're kind of weather dependent and they're on the smaller side, like um, mittens, gloves, caps, uh, things like that. A really great way to organize those and you could actually like stick this in a dresser if you wanted to or on a shelf. Um, bookshelf organization, uh, which I am going to show you an example of. Um, like how you can kind of take these apart and make different size pockets for whatever you need them for. Um, Sophia's bookshelf in her room is always a mess. Uh, she's starting to learn how to pull things off of shelves. So it's also a little bit hazardous right now. Um, you know, she's constantly like reaching for books and pulling them down and uh, I don't want them falling and hitting her. So um, we're actually just about to fill up a couple of these caddies. As I said, I highly suggest having more than one. Um, we're actually going to fill some of these caddies up with her books. So um, and those will sit on the bookshelf and it's just a way to keep her books a little bit more organized and it's just a little bit safer um, so that she can't, you know, pull them out just willy nilly. Um, so yeah, so that is how I use it in our playroom as a toy organizer. It's so fantastic for that. Um, you know, my husband has even suggested putting one, um, under the sink in our kitchen or bathroom to organize toiletries or like cleaning products. So, you know, even if you don't want to use this for your kid at all, um, it's, it's great for adults. It's just a really super useful thing to have around the house in general. Um, oh, and so before I forget, because the thought just popped into my head, um, another way that this is super useful for traveling, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, um, is so when we were staying um, at our Airbnb, Sophia actually slept in our big walk-in closet that was in our bedroom. Um, and it, I mean, this closet was huge and it was climate controlled. It had a vent and everything, but it was just a nice, quiet, dark space for her to be kind of separate from us. Um, but close enough for us to hear if she needed anything and to get to her in the night. So, um, but sleeping in a, a, you know, a closet, she didn't have access to a dresser or anything like that. Um, so we actually packed one of these, um, with, you know, her outfits, her jammies, a sleep sack. Um, and then like some supplies that she might need, like if she weren't feeling well in the night, we had like some Tylenol and stuff like that in here. So this was like, we were able to take the comforts of home, like all the essentials for, from her nursery for like a night of sleep, um, and, and put it in here and just stick it on a shelf in that closet. So this can literally be like a, a portable dresser or chest of drawers, um, when you're traveling with baby. So I know we talked about this is the month of travel, so I just, I didn't want to leave that out. Um, so my, my final way that I am going to suggest using this um, for this video is as a gift. This makes an incredible baby shower gift. And so I'm just going to sprinkle this in again for anybody who might just now be joining us. If you have a mama to be that you need to do some shopping for, this is a great opportunity. I'm going to show you how this makes such a great gift um, in just a second. And we want you to uh, have this. We would love for you to uh, give this to a friend as a gift. And so we want to give you a little discount. So we are running an Amazon Live promotion. Uh, you should see a banner just beneath this video. Hit the claim button and a discount is going to be automatically applied to your purchase at checkout. Uh, because this is a thank you for tuning in to our Amazon Live. Um, and if I said Instagram Live, I really apologize. I, I hope I've been saying Amazon. Um, 
because this is a thank you for tuning into our Amazon Live, uh, the discount code is only active um, for one hour past the end of this video. So please make sure if you are hanging around until the end of this live, which I would absolutely love because I love hanging out with you, um, that you don't forget you have one hour after this ends to take advantage of that discount. I want you to have a discount. I know you want you to have a discount, so highly suggest uh, getting your hands on that. Okay, so I know I always kind of stress a little bit about giving baby shower gifts just because um, I know that, you know, when, when I was pregnant and people were shopping for us, baby stuff accumulates so quickly and not everyone has like a big nursery space. Not everyone has even a separate nursery space in their home. Um, so, you know, I'm always trying to be mindful of what's really practical, what's really going to be useful and not just be clutter. So hello, the gift of organization is just always going to be appreciated, right? Um, but you know, something like a diaper caddy can feel a little bit impersonal just by itself. So what I suggest doing is making this into a little gift basket, right? So the container itself actually serves as part of the gift. Um, and then you can flush it out with some other things. So what I like to do is choose a theme. So for this example, we're going to say that like feeding is our theme for this gift. So this is going to be my gift basket. Um, and I have decided to include some bandana bibs from Kia Babies. This is a limited edition summer print. It's called Sweet Treats and it's super adorable. I'll just show you a close up really quickly. Um, and I'm going to stick that in here um, in this pocket. And I feel like you're gonna need some organic burp cloths. Again, this is the matching sweet treat set. It is limited edition for the summer, so please get your hands on that if you like what you see. So we'll stick that in a pocket. And then let's assume that, you know, um, whoever you're shopping for has put their preferred bottles or like a bottle starter pack or something like that on their registry. Um, and you're like, well, I wanna get them those, but you know, I don't just wanna do bottles. Um, here's a great way to, you know, add some bottles in there. And then this is a whole feeding kit. So right here, I would put like a nice card and then I'll take a cutesy ribbon, stick the handles together like so, and I'm just gonna tie this up to give it a little bit of pizzazz. And there you go. This was so, so simple to create, um, but it's so useful and thoughtful and practical uh, for the recipient, right? So again, they're getting all of these goodies that you've put in here, um, but at the same time, the actual container that it came in is also a great gift in and of itself. So love using this as a gift basket. Um, some other themes you could think about is bath time. That's always a great one. Um, so for that, I would put maybe a baby towel and some washcloths, um, some of my favorite uh, baby body wash or shampoo, a little hairbrush kit, maybe some bath toys. Um, again, stick a card in there and garnish with a cute ribbon. That's another super useful gift. Um, you could uh, diapers, you can never go wrong with diapers. Like, let me just tell you that right now. That was probably one of the absolute favorite gifts we received um, at our shower was all the diapers. Uh, it really saved us like endless trips to the store when we were brand new parents at a time that felt just like really exhausting and chaotic. Um, so thank you, thank you friends for keeping us supplied with diapers for as long as you did. So again, I always suggest diapers make a great gift, but again, it can feel kind of simple or kind of impersonal. Um, so, you know, give the diaper caddy, uh, decorate it up nicely, include some diapers, some wipes, some diaper cream, uh, maybe a portable diaper changing pad, which Kia Babies makes an incredible one. Um, it's one of my favorites, it's called the Swift. Um, you can check that out on the Kia Babies website. Um, just something like that. And so just really cute and simple, um, but very much appreciated by the new mama and the new daddy. So um, that is my third favorite way to use this. Um, so let's 
there. I want you to be able to see it. So let's undo this really quickly. And um, I just wanted to show you how you can change up the pockets inside really quick. So I'll unpack all of this. Um, again, you can kind of make the inside of this because these inserts uh, pop in and pop out easily. You can make this work for you, right? So I'm just gonna remove two panels. Um, and then the way that you could use this like for a book organizer on a bookshelf is got some of these smaller books here that can just go in this smaller pocket you've created. And then some of these bigger books can go in your larger pocket. So there you go. Um, and there's still so, so much space in here. And remember it holds up to 10 pounds, so um, you don't have to worry about uh, this not holding up. Um, it's super, super durable. So again, that is a way that we are going to be using it very soon in our household. Um, and then I just wanted to leave you with, um, as much as I love the Diaper Caddy 2.0, and I do use it in my nursery, I think it is a great home option. I have um, something that I prefer using in the car, um, and that is the uh, Easy, the Kia Baby's Easy Diaper Changing Pad. So it is so much more than that. It is basically like a portable, um, small, lightweight diaper bag for quick jaunts out of the house. I use it like for just trips to the park where I don't need a full diaper bag of stuff, but of course you will need, you know, diapers and little things like that. Um, it basically can be like a mom purse, just fits so easily onto your shoulder um, to carry all of your essentials for a day out. Uh, this strap is removable, so it can fit on um, a stroller, even if your stroller doesn't have one of those like purse hook holder things. Um, so super, super great and convenient, but I actually use this um, in my car as the emergency diaper changing kit. If I were to ever be out um, and realize, oh shoot, I don't have a diaper bag, I never have to worry about that. The diaper bag does not have to travel with us if we don't want it to because we always have this on hand. Um, so this is always packed up with diapers and wipes and diaper cream in here. Uh, we always keep a little toy for Sophia to distract her during diaper changes um, in this nice zipper pocket here. Um, and I want to show you just uh, my favorite thing, the detachable diaper pad. And if you unbuckle it, um, you actually see that it has wings. So it fits baby. It just hugs baby. Her arms can kind of go out to the side in a more natural position because God knows that she is a wiggle worm um, when she's getting a diaper change and that just attaches and detaches with Velcro. So it's the easiest thing in the world. Um, and this is going to save you a lot of time and stress on a road trip. So this is also fantastic for traveling um, because how we use it on car trips is um, in the back seat, just like up on the safety bar, I attach this just like I showed you with the detachable strap to that safety bar. Um, and when we need to stop for a diaper change, I simply open it up, I roll it out, tear this off, put it um, in the seat next to me, get Sophia out of her car seat, lay her on the pad. All the things I need to change her diaper are right there. And then uh, it wipes clean with a wipey. And when I'm done, I just buckle it all back up and it stays attached to my safety bar up above. Um, so it is just always there and at the ready. It's the most convenient thing ever. Um, and I just wanted you guys to be aware of this since we're talking about diaper changes and organization and ways to make travel a little less stressful. Um, I couldn't possibly do this video without including the easy. So please check that out. Um, and don't forget to follow us on our social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube. We've got them all. Um, our Instagram especially is super fun. Uh, we love seeing you guys over there. We love seeing your photos, um, reading your comments, and we've got tons of fun giveaways and, and all that good stuff. So we'd love to see you over there. Give us a follow here on Amazon Live so you never miss these videos. Um, and don't forget to take advantage of our Amazon Live promotion. So you'll see a banner just beneath this video, click the claim button, a discount is going to be applied to your purchase automatically at checkout, um, and you have 
uh, one hour past the end of this video. So if I were you, I would shop right now and take advantage of that. Um, the, the discount will expire one hour after the end of this live. Um, but if you're following us, you will not miss our videos and you will not miss uh, the promotions that we run in the future. So thank you so much for hanging out. I hope I gave you some, some creative ideas um, for using this super handy diaper caddy, the original 2.0 diaper caddy. Um, thanks for hanging out. Keep creating wonderful moments and I will see you next time. Bye friends.